What's going on guys? Doing here representing WGD well god damn Today we're gonna to be looking at Taoist which is basically the H cigar magic box squonker it's a mechanical squonker now this has been out for quite a while I'd say last year yeah just last year quite a while now so uh, I thought I'd pick this up do you know what I mean um, I'll do a little review on it in uh, kind of interest me in a, in a way so yeah I thought I'd pick it up but yeah nevertheless let's go down let's see what you get in the box and whatnot and yeah let's go hey well goddamn so here's the box itself Tawis or Tawis 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 how you ever pronounce it magic box I've got it in black right here and hit cigar on that side nothing on that side and again hit cigar and on the back is all the components and what not when you get in a box some warm prompt card you do have a warning as well card and a user manual which is pretty straightforward all what you get on the inside it tells you all the way across so you've got a nice diagram it tells you what to do and what not pretty simple and straightforward and let's go for the packaging you get some um, cotton some Japanese cotton some o-rings you do get a standard 510 pin if you don't want to squonk and some grub screws okay squonky here which is pretty nice you get a bottle I've already got juice in that one and a spare bottle this one's the, that's a silicone this one's the same but just a bit more stern a bit more hard on this one and the RDA this RDA is the I'll show you now call the maze RDA itself might be a bit blurry there but we'll get to this first so this is the maze RDA okay it's like a really a small a ten group tip and when you take it out you've got this extra uh delrin like adapter this actually screws out yeah this screws out and so and you got some sort of now the thing is when i've seen this it says it's adjustable airflow which i've seen nowhere of adjusting on this airflow at all okay on the top it's like an all-in-one piece so it's just one set airflow you can't adjust it at all as far as i know on this one so you have your airflow on this side and same for the other you cannot adjust this i can't adjust this on here and the other holes at the top as well um yeah that was a bit i was a bit offset with that one you can't adjust the airflow i've tried to look everywhere everything looks like you can adjust it from the lineup do you know what I mean with the engraving you can see on the sides I thought you could adjust it from the top but you can't it's just an all in one piece if you want to designed by hit cigar and you got the logo on the pin and it's kind of flush it's more flush it's not don't protrude out as much yeah it's kind of flush which is there uh, all right fair enough it's flush this is pretty this is the most basic like um deck as well Right, so inside the shell you pretty much like everything is just a one piece for me like again I'll show you like you can't see anywhere you can adjust it at all do you know what I mean you got the logo here and on the side there's nothing on the side so it's pretty clean right, well. and we'll get to the deck itself so I know mine's a bit caramelized I've used different type of calls but let's not concentrate on the, like the build so it's a velocity style deck yeah, let me just quickly get something. There you go. This is a velocity style deck. You got you you post screws on this side and same for the other side as well. And you got a double o-ring. Really, really close. Normally when I see double o-ring, it's got a bit of a gap between each other, but this one's really, really close to each other. And in the middle you do see the squonk pin as well so there's there's a hole on that side and same for the other so when you squonk through it'll it'll just blur out onto your cotton on each side it's pretty straightforward and easy so if I lift just quickly lift this up yeah it's a bit of a bit of a juice well going on not too too deep 
but just deep enough to squonk so you've got to be more careful when you're squonking this one because it does come out pretty fast and it does saturate your cotton pretty quick as well yeah pretty quick but there's nothing too much about this deck that's going on here the, the velocity is the most easiest uh, style deck to build on especially when you're starting off if you want to start off building I'd uh, advise to get like a velocity style because it's really easy so you've got two poles on that side and two two holes on that side one goes at the top goes to the bottom and same for the other side as well everyone's seen pole screws uh, velocity style deck so I'm not going to build I've already built on that one it's caramelized a bit but that can hang on I can hold on a bit longer for that but yeah so here is the squonker itself which is and I, I really like the design I like the whole wolf situation that's going on I like the engraving as well I really really like this design, design itself and you've got the wolf here and then I don't know, like another animal right here as well it's just patterns going all the way around I don't know if you can see you can see it's like really engraved you can see everything to a T on there really really detailed as well and it's exactly the same for the other side as well yeah it's pretty nice fire button here and your 510 let's check if it's spring loaded so, no this is not spring loaded for the first not spring loaded at all okay but yeah you got two hex screws on each side this the the rda is 22 millimeter diameter yeah 510 threading connection obviously as you can see right here but you may uh, the width mm, yeah, about it's, it's saying 26 but you mean you can fit 24 on there like for example let's get a, let's get a quickly get a 24 out let's screw this on yeah now i'm going to screw it on until it just becomes just do you know what i mean until it's done and it sits pretty flush on here do you know what i mean and on the edge it's, well I just seen the tiniest the tiniest yeah, tiniest gap then tiniest gap it's kind of it, it grabs as it gets to screwing it in it gets about there it starts grabbing a bit it might force the pin down this is why I prefer spring loaded as well so if I stopped it before it's grabbing that's how big of the gap there is and it's you can see it's slightly slant facing like that like, kind of like that way you know what I mean uh, let's get the drop on Oh, this has got more of a see that this one's more this one starts grabbing now so as it's grabbing now then it's got a bit of a gap but if I, if I go right in until it stops screw it right in then it's it's flush but you can see it might have a bit of a tiny mm, bit of overhang because the way this is curved in on each side front ways you're fine you're pretty much fine with that so it gives you an insight if you want to use them up i've used the recurve on here the recurve's fine on here perfectly fine yeah so yeah this is this is uh, the material this is zinc alloy and stainless steel as far as i know material so it's got a bit of a little bit of weight to it which is uh, pretty cool and it's not too big in the hand it's actually kind of really discreet and really stealth stealthy yeah Pretty nice. So you got the door, door on this side, and you got a lifter at the bottom, just there, a little gap. Put your nail in there, and your door. Same for that side as well. So this is the back, and obviously it says magic. Uh, designed by Tois H Cigar, produced by H Cigar. There you go on that side, and you got your four magnets on each side. Yeah. Uh, it's got a bit of magnet to it. Do you know what I mean? I've given it a good good shake and it's not coming off. Well, you're not really gonna do that anyway, but it's got a bit, quite a bit of strong magnets and same for the inside as well. Magnet there, 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 and there. There's your squonk bottle. And like I said, your fire button, so all your function here for the fire button. I'm not gonna open this, I'm gonna bother, it's full mechanical. And your battery connection, your pin here. And then this is this one's. There's a. I've had a. I'm not a big fan of this 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 pin here. Well, this uh, sprung, whatever it's bloody called, this prone. I'm not a fan. I like 
for example the rage how it has a spring loaded pin like like that but protrudes in out and then it'll it's, it's spring loaded like i said i prefer them this one i feel uncomfortable when i put my battery in because if i take it out even though on the other side it's got a hole yeah so I'll just take this out it's got a hole on the other side to push your battery out i feel like it's going to scrape the negative side you know the the wrap it feels like it's going to just tug against the back and it just scrapes off i don't i don't like it so i'm not even actually using that because i feel uncomfortable i'm not using the back i actually get my finger just underneath the battery and lift and pull out so yeah, i just feel more comfortable that way but everyone's different do you know what i mean some of you might not be fucked, some of you might be so yeah battery is only 18650 there's no 2700 2700 just 18650s i really like how the positive and negative is in white yeah i really like that so you can see what way you're gonna put your battery in yeah i really like that and your bottle here as well so you can see there's a there's a bit of a gap on the bottom so you can get your bottle out a bit easier all right so it's, it's just easier to get out yeah i'll just pull down a little bit there you go i've ripped some inside by accident let's get some let's dry this off yeah that'll do for now so this is on the inside and you can see the pin here and your bottle rests on this top balcony point here just at the top here so that this part gives you no space to take it out now because this is raised, raised so high <clears throat> your the feeder at the top has to be really small if you do it any unless you can do it longer and then put it right at the bottom like it's, it's too small for me let me just clean this up, bear me a second. Okay, so here's the bottle itself. Yeah, it's pretty easy, straightforward. You can put, I'm assuming like the way this is designed, you can put like quite a few bottles in here, different type of bottles. I don't have that many, one because they put different type of bottles in there, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward to use this. I like the how it's got a good um, engraving on each side so you can easy to screw, oh, if, if you don't want to squeeze the bottle as much. Easy to screw off. It's got a bit of a, there you go, so you see this, this part here, when it goes, like it keeps this part in stern, right, so it's enough, like, you have to push this down, like, because this is stuck out so much, you'd have to push this down, and then catch your thread in, this is kind of, kind of irritating, catch your thread in, just to screw it in, yeah. It gets easier from there. It gets easier when you unscrew it and it gets a bit more tighter because of this part here. So make sure if you ever get this, push it down in place. I would reverse thread it until you feel a grab and then screw it in until there you go. That's pretty straightforward for that one. Besides that damn sealant thing that's sticking out irritating and then just slip it in you see I'm already having a bit of a hard time you have to make this so short just to get that bottle in and put it in the right just to put it on that back that back area just here and yeah you have to have it really really short I've, again, I've tried to put it a bit longer just to put it a bit on this area here to keep it in place But again, I might have that might squish next to the battery as well. So you have to put it in that back plate just here It's slightly irritating So yeah, and another thing this button Bear me a second it's leaking everywhere This button Easy to fire. It's very Mm. straightforward it just cut from there you won't be able to see this but there's a there's a tiniest gap just above the uh, inside on the fire button just in there yeah you slide it up it'll lock so you won't be able to fire no matter what so it's got a locking system which is nice do you know what I mean and when you when you want to use it push down and there you go you can fire okay when you when you don't want to use it 
there you go you lock and lock it in place at first you might not be able to get it in because the way this button's designed on the top part it slants in more than the rest if you push it in the middle it still slants in with the top areas it slants in so i've had a little problem at one point try to push this up as as like straight as possible because this part the top area fire button goes in slightly it doesn't go in all in one like just it goes in but again it, the, you can, i don't think it's hard to see to find a top part it's the, the top part goes in more than the bottom area if you understand what i'm on about as you can see right here yeah when you get used to it just find your right right area push in and then you're all good but yeah that's pretty much it for this vise let's go back up top i'll tell you guys on what i think of this and yeah let's go so yeah that was a toys magic box there you go hit cigar let's, let's get this manual focus on for me it's nice a squonker okay let's have a quick talk i've got i'm running this at 0 0.32 with some fuse claptons yeah five wraps so it's gonna be really really subtle nothing too high rampage What do I think of this? Well, first of all, let's go with the design itself. Now, the design straight away, I like the engraving. I really like the engraving uh, of the wolf uh, for both panels, the front side and back side as well. Easy to take off the panels, easy to function. Just everything's straightforward and simple. Very very simple so i like the doors i like the design i like how it's really discreet it's not too big do you know what i mean it's got a bit of weight to it because of the material itself yeah uh, i like how it's got a locking system on the fire button so when you finish click up you can't fire it at all you can't fire it click down unlock you're all good easy to fill the bottle bit of a nuisance to screw it back on because the the extra sealant on the top. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I kind of understand. Uh, I kind of understand it's keeping it in place, but um, yeah. There you go. Straightforward. Easy. Put the battery in, and there's there's nothing much to it. Now, I don't like. I like it. No, I like how you can. Um, Take the bottle out it's easy to take the squonk bottle out with that, that a bit of a gap in the bottom i really like it yeah i just don't like how it's just specifically for that you see that when i showed you earlier in down below it's got that back a back balcony point at, at the back so you can put the bottle in that place not placement you can't extend the bottle any longer just to put it in place if you really want to do it's going to be really really it's going to squeeze against the battery itself if you want to have it further down that's 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 my in my experience um so i just keep it at the back um other than that i like the gap how you can keep it out now the other for like the prone on the battery on the negative side this is going to be more subjective this part so i am uncomfortable like i said uh, with where the that prone is functioned um i prefer a spring loaded pin that goes in i feel more comfortable at, 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 like I feel like it's not gonna uh, wear down my battery wrap as much uh, like I said I grab underneath at the front I lift and pull out from the front even though you can push out the back with the other plate I just feel more comfortable that way that's just me okay you lot might be different if you want this device but yeah it's easy to squonk the bottle it's pretty straightforward I won't squonk it too much on the RDA because it's such a um, it gushes out so fast and plus it's not a, a deep juice well so you only need to push a little bit and then you're pretty much set and done for that so that's the main prior for this device i think that's the yeah that's pretty much about it um i'd like to see it 2700 besides that but that's again that's subjective but for 18650s yeah, you can just put it small now the rda um it's simple it's it's simple i didn't expect 
I didn't know when this came out, so it just caught, caught my eye. So I didn't know if there was like an interesting deck. But when I seen it, I thought it's a velocity style. Yes, um, for me, it'll be like, ah, okay. I like to have more interesting decks, but it's not just about me. It's for you guys. So for the people who uh, know about the back, make sure as well, because it's a full mechanical, know about your battery law and ohms law. Yeah, get them two on to a T then. You can move to this because there's no safety features in this besides a locking system and the fire button. That's pretty much a buy for safety features. Um, the deck the for velocity is the most easiest deck you can build on for first. That's the very first deck I started building on, and it is easy. It's, it's so so easy. So for people who know about the Ohm's law again and battery law, and get this, the deck is easy. If you want something nice and small and discreet as an add-on, and you go as a full kit. Um, really, really small uh, drip tip for me. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm on like bigger, like five tens and stuff, like, a bit more wider bar. But for something like this, more stealth and it's compact, and that's fair enough. Um, I like the whole design for the idea as well. It's not so bad. I don't mind it. You know what I mean? I wonder why there's like you have to screw off the uh, delving. I don't see the point in that. Just put the drip tip in. But again, I think the reason is maybe because you want to have as an add-on on there so you don't want the the bottom part of the drip tip so close to the deck so it doesn't heat up quickly it might melt so at least it's risen a little bit more than normal um you can't just see airflow as for my experience you can't just see airflow which is a con for me um i like to just airflow i know it's all holding one piece but come on come on mate one piece that's just for me you know what i mean sometimes i put the recurve on just, I sometimes use it, sometimes I don't. So let's have another talk. I've I've been lower on this. So you get a bit more rampage, a bit more power out of it. Um it's not so bad. The flavour's not so bad. I'm getting some nice flavour. Um uh, just the right amount of airflow yeah get it just amount it's not too open it's not too like compact it's just about just about right i still like a, a to adjust just in case you know what i mean i prefer i'd have it a little bit wider than then have an adjustment on there so you can go through whatever however you want to fit yeah i'm getting all right flavor just 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 about nice just about nice flavor so but yeah, that's that's pretty much all I can say about this device. Um, price points now. Looking around, you're looking around forty to fifty pounds. Yeah. So as I'm fine, I've got them on three of FIP. I don't see any on like grey haze on it, like grey haze or PC one or anything like that. I'm on three of VIP says thirty seven ninety nine on here. And yeah, you're looking if you have a good browse around. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, forty to fifty pounds for the full kit yeah so if you want it you can go you can go browse around there you go pretty straightforward but i, I can't get over the design uh, the, the the finish the engraving finishing <laughs> so nice i really like this and it, yeah again compact i've already said this but um, it's nice and compact man. i mean i don't have that much big hands but that's just about right uh please give a subscribe and a thumbs up I appreciate for that if it's a thumbs down let me know why in the comments so i can improve and i'll see you guys in the next one god damn peace